Okay, so if they want to know for which term it has a value of 167, you could uh, keep adding 10 until you got to that one and figured out which term that was. Mm -hmm. But they want you to use a formula. So again, it's arithmetic, and so we'll bust out the arithmetic nth term formula. So it's the first term, negative 3, plus the common difference. We're adding 10 every time, um, n minus 1. Now, here, n. we don't know what n is. We, n is like first term, second term, third term. We don't know this, but we know the value of the nth term. That a sub n is the value of the nth term is 167. So now you just solve this. So 167 should be negative 3 plus 10n minus 10. So 167 equals negative 13 plus 10n. Add 13, 180 equals 10n. So n should be 18. So the 18th term should be 167. It's a small enough number. We could expand it out. 37, 47. Actually, I don't really want to, but you could do it. <laughs> this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. The 18th term should be 167, and that should work. Awesome.